Hi, uh, it's been a while since I have last recorded, and I'm glad I'm able to record again. So, um, welcome. So, today we're redesigning Blake, um, and I'll admit it's pretty hard to come up with an outfit for Blake. Um, just for me, uh, her, a lot of her canon looks, for me, it looks, uh, very, um, inconsistent. Um, I did. Uh, make a first redesign for her, like a few months back but I wasn't happy with it and I just started procrastinating on making a redesign video again um, and then I was about to like come make a video of something else but I then had this uh, moment uh, <laughs> my brain said, suddenly gave me this idea of what if Blake is in a like a traditional outfit and I was super excited <laughs> so yeah I gave Blake a more like a traditional look like one of those uh, kimono ninjas you see in anime so yeah I gave her that um, and I want to give her like a very like s like a kimono then like a something in her like arms uh, just to give her, give her more like the traditional look and like tied with uh, like a very thin like ribbon yeah I gave her a ribbon a bow ribbon this time um, I kind of wish I put it in the back but uh, you wouldn't able to see it so I decided to put it on front and to give her uh, like a asymmetry look because I think in volume 1 her look her outfit does have an asymmetry on her arms I think I'm trying to remember I think it has so I decided to give it give her an, a bit of an asymmetry um, I d did that by using the bow and then like this rope uh, bracelet Thing in her thighs, I decided to put her that um, just to get more like color on the outfit. Um, yeah, I I'm actually surprised I come I was able to um, get an idea for Blake because honestly, um, I don't like the theme that they gave her now, like a cyber like theme. I I, I don't know. It just I it doesn't felt right I didn't really like it <laughs> um, I never I didn't really like her current outfit right <laughs> right now so <laughs> but I like her hair uh, like her the idea of having her short hair so that's something um, for the colors I uh, decided to put them in black obviously um, and then the same thing with white and ruby um, team colors uh, but this time I wanted yellow to be the prominent accent because um, I think I, I don't know if I it's right uh, that uh, Blake and Yang are thing now uh, it's been a while since I've like watched the show set and the apparently it was in volume 6 the reason why I like unaware of it it's because when I was watching like the finale of volume 6 I had the tendency to just if I know what's gonna happen I just decided to skip over like a few seconds and I actually did <laughs> I didn't pay attention um, that was my fault <laughs> I am pretty I had the tendency to do that <laughs> just skip everything once I know what's gonna happen or something so yeah, um, so that's why I was a bit lost on what is happening in volume 7 between them. Uh, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to give her um, a yellow, more prominent yellow accent. Um, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with this one compared to the first one I did. Because the first one is just like, it, it just sucked looking business look and it doesn't even if I'm gonna be honest now looking back to it it doesn't even look 
really doesn't really look good. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just awfully similar to her volume 4 if she doesn't have the white coat outfit just in suit form. So yeah, um, I'm glad I uh, gave him this outfit instead. So uh, yeah, and that's pretty much my uh, process about this. Um, uh, next time, I'm actually planning on doing it. Um, I only already made some drafts and sketches and I'm very excited to uh, make an outfit for Yang this time. Um, I hope you uh, like this video.